the next thing in uh, digitizer, the hatch program and the auto digitizing section is photo stitch. Now, Wilcom has no great love for photo stitch. I know this because I talked to the Wilcom people personally, face to face at one of the conventions more than this was about 15 years ago. Um, and asked them why they didn't have a photo stitch. And they said that they thought photo stitch was just a, a gimmick. The people, uh, real embroidery, um, people who really were interested in embroidery were not interested in photo stitch. And in that, they are absolutely positively wrong. Uh, all the major, except for them, all the uh, major uh, embroidery software people have photo stitch, some better than others. Um, PE Design has a really great one. Uh, Ember uses one called Sumato, uh, which I have had and used in the past. It was one of your earlier ones. Uh, Origins was actually, I think, one of the earliest. I had that. I had that software. Um, Somato, I, I had it and used it. It was pretty good. Not as great as PE Design, which I think is still, which I had first came theirs came out with version five. I think I have both five and seven. I think they're up to eleven or twelve now versions, maybe even more than that, but. That since that's all I use in in PE design, I've never really gotten their more advanced ones, though I'm thinking of getting it. Uh, Floriani has one. Again, it's very simple, um, like PE designs. You just click it and you have it done. It's done. Uh, PE designs works very nicely. And sometimes you have to go in and ed edit your picture. And of course, all almost all designs, you have to go in and edit them afterwards. But depending upon how great the program is, there's less editing. Now, having said all that, Wilcom did put in a photo stitch after that. But it is, it's junk. I'll show you how it works. It only comes in one color, unlike others, other that... Um, do all the colors. And since it's only one color, the picture that I brought in here is black and white because that's all it does is black and white or red and white or whatever this. It only does one color thread. Uh, and it does this. Well, I'll show you how it works and then I'll show you how it does it. So you, you would click this picture and now your instant digitizing things show up. And it's the third one with the camera auto digitize photo stitch. And when you click that, it automatically digitizes it. Notice it put it in red. I would put it in black. And right now it looks really good or not too bad, but that's because the background is still turned on. So let's take the background off and you'll see now it's fuzzier. And the way this one works, the way the picture works, come in really close and you'll see every line is a line of stitching and where it's very dark the stitching the sat line is very wide and um and then as in the in the, the lighter areas it goes down to almost nothing a straight straight line the the width of the of the zigzag satin stitch is more or less um, wide, depending upon how dark that background is. But everything, it's, it's made up of only one color because all of this has to be one color because they're all connected. And so you get this fuzziness because there's no real, real definition here. Everything is with slides, almost like cross hatching, but not because this only goes one direction. So this is the extent of it. This is all you can get out of it. Now I have tried this with different pictures, um, just plain 
simple cartoon style of coloring book line art and more elaborate ones like this, and none of them really looks great. And this is their idea of photo stitch. I will, I have done some digitizing vid videos and put them up uh, using the PE design, but I will do a more in depth one and show you the difference. I mean, the difference between this and I'll show you a, a PE design photo stitch one. Um, all right, so here's a here's a PE design photo stitch. It'll take a while to load. This is a lot of threads. But if you hear, all of these are PE design photo stitches. Um, anything that, any time that I have, not all the time, but if I have something that looks like a photo, I will try it in photo stitch. Can you see all the colors in here? Can you see the detail in it? Um, I would come in here afterwards and go through this, and I probably have, and maybe use some black threads to outline some of the some of the um, to separate some of these elements to give more definition to the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, the mouth. Pretty sure I did that. Um, but this is what PE design, and I mean, the difference between this one and this one, it's like day and night. But um, if you don't intend to do any photo stitch, um, then you don't need it. But photo stitch is really a nice, um, it's a nice thing to have in your embroidery arsenal to, um, in case you want to do something that is more uh, sophisticated. Now you can all, you can do all this and I have done it long before photo stitch ever existed. I would do faces you without using photo stitch, um, uh, just doing the embroidery, uh, make doing all of this sort of embroidery. And that's time consuming, but it does look nice. It sews off much faster. Photo stitch is very slow because these are all tiny little, little threads, you know, all of these, these stitches. And then there's other stitches on top of stitches. So it blends the colors. Um, the, the the color in her cheeks is is probably three different colors all blended uh, so and the, even though this does have a lot of colors in it and photo stitch tends to do that there see this has uh, come on how many colors not 20 but probably 15 one two three four five six seven eight nine. Come on. 10, 11. Come on. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 colors. So this is this is what I call real photo stitch. This huh, This is just line art <laughs> all right so next time we'll look next the uh, the next video i'll look at um the second section of this the auto digitizing we've looked at the all the automatic digitizing ones now we'll look at the ones that are semi-automatic